Adam Baldwin for AFLplayers.com.au. Standing between the two Madden goalposts, I guess, is probably the best way to put it, but also um, two life members of the Players Association. As of tonight, um, Simon, first one for you. I understand that a uh, pivotal, mo pivotal moment in your presidency was negotiating the first uh, CBA. Um, how did you, I guess, convince players to almost strike at that point? Yeah, look, I, I don't know if I ever did. It was interesting because we call it a standard playing contract, but it was the first time we actually had a contract. All the players agreed and it had an AFL logo on it, so we could actually say we're on the same page as AFL. Um, I was probably never convinced that we could get all the players because if in doubt they'd play because that's what players did. But if you had enough, if you said it quickly enough with enough authority, the AFL might believe you. And we had a lot of blokes. We didn't have them all, but we had a lot of blokes. We said, yeah, we're prepared to do that. And in the end, it's one of those things where if we're not going to play, what do they do? They can't bring on the dancing girls or they can't bring on anything else. We're not going to play. So it was a nice little strategic negotiation that luckily enough worked. And Justin, anyone who knows anything about the uh, AFL-PA history knows about the mass player meeting at the Radisson in 93. What are your memories of that night? We had an enormous turnout and uh, we had hundreds of players, which was highly unusual to get that many players at a meeting. So they obviously felt very strongly. And what was excellent about it was we had the big name players. We just didn't have the rank and file players who were actually going to benefit from any collective bargaining agreement. We had the stars and we're able to get them all on stage at the end of the night making an announcement that we were prepared to go all the way, potentially strike, and we were able to get that on the front page of the Daily Press the next day. So to have those big name players, the Gary Ablets, the uh, Dermot Bretons, the Paul Ruses, uh, the John Longmires, those sorts of players carried a lot of currency and obviously helped us through those difficult times. Well, the word around that night is credibility, and I guess nothing is more credible than Dermot Burton rolling up to the event uh, on his Harley. Well, that certainly gave us some media coverage. Uh, it wasn't expect exactly what we expected, but it worked beautifully. And uh, I think we got a couple of extra pages in the press the following day, not just the front page, but Dermot and his Harley and you know, a few of the other big names. So all that helped, and uh, we eventually got what we set out to achieve, and that was uh, standard conditions around professionalism uh, as the game became professional. Yep. And your eight years as, pre as the president, did that sort of springboard you into politics? Is that the grounding that, that got you there? Well, it probably, it probably did really. Uh, I didn't have expectations of going into politics, but I met a number of people from the Labor movement, the, the John Halfpennies of the world, uh, the Bill Kelties, and they, I, I, I sought them out to get advice from them because I wasn't sure what I needed to do, and they gave me that advice, and in the end that sort of aligned me into the, uh, I suppose, it, it streamlined me into politics, but I hadn't really anticipated that, but that's where I ended up. And Simon... And they asked me to go into politics and I was smart, I said no. I'll play. <laughs> and, and you still have contact with the current day cropper players, you know, sitting on the board as the past player, I guess, uh, representative. You know, they're an impressive bunch who are really carrying the organisation forward, aren't they? Well, look, it's a really interesting position to be in because, um, you know, you're an old, older ex-player, but you realise that every player becomes an ex-player, so the position's really important. And, and I'm just really impressed with the... Uh, not only the, the on-field professionalism of the players, but the off-field professionalism, and see how they do see a bigger picture and how they understand that what, what we did hopefully helps them and what they do helps the future. And, and I think it's an ongoing thing. So, look, I'm really impressed with the association where, where it has come, but also where it's going. And I, I think that uh, I think we're, we're in good stead for the future. And, so the, and the game will be because of it. Excellent. Well, congratulations to you both. Thanks again.